Hi, I'm Stuart and welcome to Sarnet Television. Going to take a look at some beacons. They're LED beacons available here on Sarnet. They're from Wheeland Engineering in Chester, Connecticut, and they're part of their L40 series beacons. There's a variety of colors here in front of us today. We have a red one, a blue one, and an amber one. Bum -ba -da -bum -bum. <laughs> Sorry, just threw that one in. But anyway, basically what you have here is a very sturdy beacon built by Whelan. Um, it comes in the variety of different safety colors. You can check them out on the website, as I just a moment ago showed you very nicely. I'm assuming you have red, blue, and amber directly in front of you. But basically, this is a magnetic unit that I'm holding here in my hand. It is also available in a permanent mount as well. On the magnetic side of things, you can see here a very nice magnet mounted directly onto the base of the unit. The cord is then coming out of the base, and that then in turn will go to a switch unit, similar to what I'm holding here in my hand, which will give you the ability to turn it on and to turn it off, and again to change the flash patterns as well. Now again, the different flash pattern specification are available on the site. One thing to note about the permanent mounted unit versus the magnetic mount is that in the magnetic mount unit you do not have a photo cell whereas in the permanent mount unit you do have a photo cell and what that means in simple terms is the ability to reduce the intensity to low intensity is available on the permanent mount unit only not on the magnetic mount one that is preset so let's go ahead and turn them on switch on the red here and I'm going to quickly scroll through some of the flash patterns I think you can clearly see them here, so I kind of bounce around a bit. And then we'll go ahead and turn on the amber and turn on the blue. Now the blue is set on a constant on, which is a feature of this light. Lift it up here. And I should be able to change the flash button if I click the right button. There we go. It's now changing here on the blue. So again, a variety of different flash patterns are available with the unit, so you can go ahead and check those out. Let's turn off some of these lights here so we can actually see. Let's take a closer look at how the light is put together by turning on the amber, turning off the blue. Now, as you can clearly see it here, bouncing around, I'm gonna turn it off for a second. And let's take the top dome off. And as you can see here, the dome itself Put it back this way a second here. The dome itself is fluted. You can see the fluting. That's that material indentation that you see around here. And what that does is it's designed to diffuse the light, to spread it out. In turn, with this particular unit, there's an additional diffuser mounted inside here. We'll take that off, and you can clearly see here from an optic perspective. And the center optics are where the diodes are. I'm going to get the camera to zoom in real quick. And you can see the diodes here mounted on a tower configuration. Let me turn this around here. They're in an epoxy coated base. The base, by the way, is aluminum, as I mentioned earlier. And again, this is part of the Whelan's L40 series. The light itself is a Class 1 certified light. It has a rated running time of 50,000 hours, a pretty serious rating on this. It has a low current draw. You're looking at uh, 20 amps peak, but with an average amp draw of 0 0.8. So that's pretty darn good. The permanent mount one, as I mentioned earlier, does have the photo cell, whereas the magnetic one does not have the photo cell. And the number of flash patterns with this particular light will be a total of 25, and that includes steady burn as well. So let me go ahead and put the uh, light back together. Let's put that on there. Put the dome on here, and a very nice collection of lighting available from Whelan. It is the L40 series. It's available here on Sirenet. So go out and check out the tech specs on the website. As always, many thanks for watching Sirenet Television. I'm Stuart.